Are we live? Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. God knows if we're live. <laughs> this thing is terrifying. Oh well. Hmm. We don't have any viewers. One viewer. We have one viewer. Hello, viewer. There is a chat, by the way. Um, yeah, so hello, guys. Welcome to the show. I'm doing a live Q&A. Uh, oh, we have 45 viewers now. Well, it's better. 64. It's, it's going up. Okay, cool. A lot of you are, are, um, are tuning in now. Um, let me see if the, the chat is, is working. There should be a chat, guys. There should be a chat. Um, so, so let me know if the sound is acceptable and if the, uh, the chat is working at all. I'm, I, I, how is the... Sorry, forgive me, guys. Where is the chat? Yeah, it should be there. It should be there. Let me see if, if I type something in. Hello. Yeah, well, I, I can see... I seem to be able to chat. Um, how can I review your, your chat? How can I see your chat? That's what I want to do. Hmm. It's a little bit difficult. How am I going to do that? Hold on. I've got an idea. I'm going to open uh, YouTube on this. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. Live. All right, where's the chat? Oh, here we go. Now I can see the chat. Yes. Okay, the chat is on. And this is weird. I'm watching myself. Look, this is really bizarre. Um, okay, hello. Hello, good sir. Um, hello from uh, Gilberto from uh, Florida. Um, who are we here? Oh, Rotterdam. Rogue Rider from Rotterdam. Hello, Rogue Rider. Uh, Phil Mason. It says sounding good. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. Um, sound is okay. Thank you, Andy. Good, good, good. Uh, wait, let me let me see if I can. I can't. Um, how do I get the chat on this thing? Anyway, whatever. We'll just we'll we'll make do, guys. We'll make do. Um, uh, Milgauss. <laughs> yeah, Rolex. Okay, actually, I should give a, a more formal, professional introduction. Okay, today we're going to discuss. Uh, Rolex predictions for 2018 Basel World. I've got um, a few suggestions uh, and an, a really good article. It, I'll leave a link in the, in the description from, I think it was a monochrome magazine or, or something along those lines. Really fantastic article. They did the same thing consecutively a few years ago. Well, for I think four or five years going back now. Uh, I always love uh, reading their articles. So one, one of my predictions is also one of theirs. So, you know, great minds, obviously. Um, and then I would like to hear yours as well. But first of all, we'll do, we'll do some live q and I've never done live Q&A before, so do bear, do bear with me. Uh, Adrian, Adrian says, evening, folks. Hello, Adrian. Uh, Klaus M54, hello from Germany. Guten Tag. Um, there's a... Uh, is that Lucy? I, pro I apologize if I'm butchering your name. From Hello from Paris. Very cool. Matthias is in Austria. Oh my God, the it's moving so quick. I can't keep up. We got views from Baghdad. Uh, Bakstaya. Bakstaya. I'm, I apologize. It's from ba Baghdad. Very cool. Um, oh my God, it's, it's moving too fast. <laughs> I can't keep up. Um, this is this is why you need two people really doing this show. Uh, oh, JLB, my good friend JLB. Well, Lewis, um, fellow Peep Show fan. Uh, he says uh, hello from uh, Southern England. Fantastic, Mister Hyde in Australia. Shout out to you, sir. Um, uh, Zach in Chicago. Very cool. Very cool. I'm dying to go to Chicago. Uh, Perkin in London. My, my fellow Londoner there. Um, JT from Texas. We've got Kansas, Chad in Kansas. Uh, hello, JT and uh, Chad there. Um, we, we people from Sweden, Ukraine. That's crazy. Uh, uh, Aloha from um, Hawaii. Very, very cool. 
very very cool my god it's oh, this is this is fantastic We've got the whole world the whole world ciao from zurich and that's from sanjo 111 barcelona mr yutani from barcelona i lived there for a year amazing amazing city uh, i um yeah i won't i won't forget that in a hurry uh um <laughs> Uh, Matthias is in Oslo. I love, love Norway. A great city. Uh, I, um, I've been to Oslo twice. I really enjoyed because uh, I had a friend from school there and um, incredible, incredible co uh, country and the landscapes just, yeah, I, yeah. Um, so clean, so clean. Good fish, good fish as well. Um, oh, uh, Domenico in Napoli, Forza Napoli um bucharest romania that's uh marius i could just sit here and just shout out people all day it's, it's really fun um belgrade uh we we robot is from um scotland i i always i suspected that i always suspected that very very cool holland canada um dennis van i'm not just in case i won't read your surname just in case but dennis in holland love holland uh fun with turtles is in southwest germany i always wondered hello sir how are you sir um uh, who else have we got who else have we got pat and torino uh yes yes sir yes sir in baghdad so that's two people from baghdad incredible um abraham says you're looking hands handsome no homo <laughs> thank you sir um uh chris uh, says hello hello from cape cod okay okay cool i thought you were gonna uh, recommend cape cod the polishing uh, cloth but actually he's from cape cod i wonder if if there's a connection is cape cod actually from cape cod or is it just named after that if anybody knows um yeah this is really cool this is amazing uh oh my good friend philippe in paris who has some incredible watches um every day it seems he's got some amazing new luxury watch it's just uh david in portugal billy in the midlands um got finland i okay guys i'm gonna have to stop, i'm gonna have to stop this uh colin in uh, messina in sicily very cool indeed very cool um oh my good friend kindred spirit my my brother there um how are you sir i hope you're well uh, i love if anybody's seen his instagram it's amazing he always shares these these wonderful he's always on his bike traveling around um great britain and taking these incredible pictures it's um they always cheer me out i just love it um anyway we should really talk about some watches <laughs> uh adam says mayhem laugh out loud i think it is i think it is um Irwin says just brought bought sorry blah blah can't talk just bought my first swiss watch because of your channel thanks for all the content sir you're very welcome um that is precisely why i make videos every time i i get that a lot now and um i'm not trying to blow my own trumpet but i'm i'm just saying it, it motivates me no end and when people say they're enjoying their watches they bought this watch that but watch because of me or they saw the channel and engaging in the community and you know that is the ultimate m motivation i it just it it really makes all the editing everything worth it it really does um who else adrian steel city england very nice um, um who else we got oh very cool we got our oh, talha from uh, turkey loved it's istanbul incredible i've been to izmir istanbul and i've been to i think it was epithes epithes you know the the those roman ruins uh it's it's near i forget uh, correct me if i'm wrong guys i i think i pronounced it uh, correctly is the light is it is it too dark in here is it too light perhaps the sun is going down it is uh, i should do a wristwatch check really it's uh, only quarter past four I'm wearing I'm wearing the Fortis or the 40. I've started calling it the 40. You know, putting wires onto it. Look at that 38 38 millimeter size. Oh 
I am, and and I got it on the uh, the lucky Zulu guys. I uh, I love this watch. Um, it's weird. I'm seeing myself showing myself the watch. It's a bit strange. Is there any way I can not see myself? That would be nice. Can I just see the chat? How do I do that? I don't know how to do that. That's it's a bit okay. I'm just I'm not gonna mess with it because it's working. <laughs> um, uh, Jakub in uh, Poland. I love Poland. Never been to Poland. Dying to go to Warsaw. Um, yeah, uh, Filippo. Ciao. He says ciao. Hello, Filippo. Um, if Ah oh, Talha says, if you ever visit Turkey, please inform me. I'd appreciate to have you in Istanbul. Oh, that uh, definitely. Let's do that. You know, actually, that I think reminds me. I think the future of the channel really will be to do more trips, not, I mean, yeah, I'm going to go to Switzerland more. I'm going to go to Japan. Sorry about the light guys. Um, but I, I also want to travel and meet you guys. I want, I want to go and have events in London in Paris and in Berlin. I'll definitely come to Istanbul. Um, I never forget the underground. I think it's like they filmed a James Bond there. It was, um, it's like a, 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 a reservoir that the Romans, I think the Romans built it. Uh, and of course the, the big, the blue, is it the blue mosque? Oh, forgive me guys, my memory. Uh, oh, and the Grand Bazaar, incredible, incredible city. Um, sorry, yes, I'm, uh, <laughs> it's completely off the tangent. We should, we should be talking about Rolex. Let's talk about Rolex. From Russia with love, there we go. Neil, thank you, Neil. There is a tiny bit of a delay, so bear with me. Um, Euros, Euros, I think that is, he says, um, uh, bought my first SKX thanks to TGV. Uh, I'm really a big Seiko fan. Ah, oh, well, Seiko, no matter if you're the, the most learned connoisseur or just getting into it, Seiko covers, you know, it's got us all covered. Um, so yeah, it's Se <sighs> Every day I, I discover a new Seiko I, I didn't know about, you know. Um, it, it just, it never ends. I could almost, I wouldn't, but I could almost do a channel just on Seiko. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> uh, but I almost could. It's, it's, it's such a deep brand in terms of everything they have to offer. Um, greetings from Sweden, love Sweden. Love Sweden. I'm not going to get into that, but trust me, I love Sweden. Um, that's Jake, by the way. Uh, Poland is waiting. Cool. I, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. I just I need to save up. Japan first. Japan first. That is the priority. Uh, Jacob, uh, he says, can I get a shout out? Yes. I think I just did. Did I? Uh, Robin in Essex. High five. High five to you. High five to you. Um, uh, Kevin, Kevin asks, Orient Defender. I'm, I, I haven't seen it in the flesh. Um, I'm, that's the thing. I'm not gonna. I can't ever recommend anything I haven't seen in the flesh. Common sense, right? Um, I can pass my thoughts on it. I, I like it. I really do like it. Um, I would love to review one. Uh, you know what you're getting with Orient. I, they, their, their quality is pretty. You know, pretty. Um, equal across the board, uh, although they have some higher-end divers. I, I have to experience the watch, really, to give a, an opinion. But, um, yeah, I know, John, I need a haircut. I know, I know, I know. It's just, um, it will happen, it will happen. I'm thinking of doing the uh, the Vikings <laughs> haircut. You know, <laughs> just keep it long. Enough. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about food. Uh, Odium, Odium, I think, says, um, unboxing my glycine combat. Uh, sub thanks to TGV. Yes, nice one. They, the price of those are uh, well. They've been bought by Glycine. Sorry, wrong way around. They bought. They have been. My English is deteriorating. They've been bought by Invicta. Now, when that happened, there was a big hoo ha, and and a lot of people seem to, you know, kind of turn their nose up uh, up at Glycine as if their history and all their achievements didn't mean anything the same they're still made in the same factory the only difference is they got more funding now and what's happened their watches are cheaper you can still buy a, a combat sub it's a, it's a huge military following you can buy the airman 
uh, it's never been as cheaper to, to buy them. It's great. Buy them. I think they're great watches. Um, I will probably have to revisit them because I want to compare pre and post Invicta uh, watches. You know, my money is, is, is on, uh, if I had to bet, it's that there's no difference apart from your, your, you guys are getting a better deal. So, I mean, you know, does it matter? What does it matter? Um, <laughs> Flavor, I can't read that. Um, yeah, I can't read that. Uh, Blitz, Dundee. Dundee, yes, you should buy a Timex, my friend. You should buy a Timex. Uh, it was Dundee, wasn't it? Where the, where the, um, oh, Nial says, uh, torn between the 36 millimeter and the 39 millimeter Explorer. He has six and a three quarter inch risk. What do I reckon? Uh, 36, my friend. I, well, look, they both work on you. They're both, they both will work on you. Go into a store and try them on. I, I think. Um, never be embarrassed about going into a watch store. Um, I'm not saying you are, my friend. I'm not saying you are, but uh, some people are. They, they don't like. I don't really like them. Um, that there, there's always a kind of most most of the time they're friendly, uh, but try them on, see how they they wear. If you can get get in front of a mirror and see how you look, because sometimes that uh, uh, seeing it from a different perspective, apart from just looking at your wrist, makes a huge difference. Um, personally, I think you could go either way. I, you guys know, I'm I'm more towards the the, the smaller sizes. Um, I do think the smaller sizes are coming back. Whether one is a better investment than the other, uh, I couldn't tell you. It looks like you're buying it for yourself. Does that really matter? They're if they're both explorers, you know. Um, Lino says thank you. Uh, hi TGV. Hello, my friend. So, uh, thanks for teaching me about Seiko. It's a very unpopular brand in Switzerland. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. <laughs> well, look, you know, they're lost. They're lost. Um, it makes me it kind of intrigued in how they get treated when they turn out up at Basel World. You know, is there any kind of? No, they're very professional. The Swiss, they're very professional. Um, and all the everybody I met in Switzerland. And this is why I'm doing the live show, by the way, because uh, I've been editing all day. I've got, I've still got a mountain of stuff yet to um, uh, to, to 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 do. So, uh, and guys, I should mention, uh, I've started doing freelance editing, uh, trailers, um, corporate videos, intros for websites, that kind of thing. So, if uh, anybody needs any editing work, video editing work, you know. Um, yes, please do uh, email me, and it's great because it's I, it's still kind of I can work from home, and then I can when I'm bored of that I'll review a watch. So it's it's turning out really nicely. Um, and ironically, what got me into that was editing the intros of the watch reviews. So <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Uh, sorry, just finish my coffee. Mm. It is whiskey. Skoll, um, Proust um Ch chayam chayam in tel aviv fantastic how oh i should have said uh, lachayim lachayim um we have uh, thoughts on the batman jake yeah um you know what i like the batman more than i liked the the previous i used to own the the ceramic gmt i i forget the reference the one before it with just the black you know and the grit the the british racing green gmt had um it did it didn't do it much for me i ended up getting the sub and this was you know this before the channel um the batman i really do like it's so funny how that little little bit of blue has changed it for me um and actually that does bring me on to um onto the uh, one of my predictions and i think monochrome is it monochrome magazine i'm pretty sure it is the uh, thing is, if I turn this off, I'm going to lose the chat, and I and I wanted to use this to look at the article, but it doesn't matter. I'll I'll go from my notes. I'll go from my notes. Um, so yeah, one of the and actually it was a prediction last year they they were going to do a Coke, uh, GMT. I think that's highly likely. Um, I also really liked Monochrome magazines. Is uh, again, I apologize if I'm getting it wrong. They predicted 
a polar explorer. Um, and I think, I, I don't think it's going to happen, okay? Um, having said that, Rolex are getting a little bit more adventurous. They only did used to do little slight changes. Last year, the, my favorite release was that moon phase, the Cellini moon phase. Uh, I thought it was a bold move. I, the, 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 the Cellini line needed revitalization. I thought it was it's a stunning, gorgeous watch. And it's nice to see Rolex doing something other than uh, what they're the best at doing, which is luxury sports watches. Nobody can deny. And having said that, one of my biggest, um, I don't think this is going to happen, but I would love to see them reissue or do some kind of modern um, watch based on the caliber 60, uh, what was it? 6036. Uh, that was it. Yes. So that was a triple calendar, actually. I have, um, they were known actually as the, um, I have my book here, I'll show you there, so that's it there. They were known as the uh, Jean-Claude Killy, because he was a, he's a French, he is a French um, champion um, alpine skier, and he, I think he was an ambassador for Rolex for about 40 years, and that's what he wore, so it became... The Jean Claude Keely. Now there's tons of versions, so it's it's a chronograph, triple calendar, manual wind, beautiful um, column wheel chronograph. I'd love to see that. Do I think it's going to happen? No, I think maybe one day. But what I really would like to see Rolex do is, um, okay, so they they mastered the sports watch, the luxury sports watch, right? Love to see them do more high-end complications you know um and i know it's a more of a niche market but it's you know with that moon phase that they did last year it kind of kind of got my imagination going a little bit uh now the the, the 606 uh, what was it 606 no sorry 6036 the one i really like was in the rose gold extremely rare in fact one sold at phillips and i'll leave a, a link to this if you're watching this in the future i'll leave a link in the description sold at phillips for three hundred eighty one thousand five hundred and seventy four dollars i think it was um so just to give you an example yeah very expensive uh wishful thinking anyway sorry what, what do you what do you guys think of that what do you guys think think of that um Wow, so many comments. Uh, let me just <laughs> let me just catch up here. Uh, sound sound not working anymore. Is sound sound hello testing test seems to be uh, seems to be uh, um oh my god, there's so much. So much, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't keep up. Um, hello. Uh, how how do I how do I? Yeah, I don't I don't know how to. Um, okay, let's go back. Sound check one two three. Yeah, sound is okay. Okay, well thanks guys, thanks guys. I don't know why. Maybe it went there for a minute. Maybe it was a bit, a bit of lag. Oh, I see Justin's there. Hello, Justin, my friend Justin. Um, uh, uh, Lewis says, GCR wants to see a GMT to Pepsi. Yes. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, a couple of people talking about uh, football. <laughs> uh, uh, TGV Iraq, thank you. Who is that? Uh, that... Uh, Oh, God, I can't keep up. Sorry. Hold on. Uh, Danilo. Danilo. There you are. Thank you, sir. Um, hello from Santiago. That's from Andreas. Um, oh, yeah. Lewis says the Coke. Yeah. I know because of uh, um, AC Milan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he would be over the moon. I think, I think his wife will probably kill him. <laughs> but... Um, yeah. Oh, uh, Superbus says smaller sized Explorer 2. Yeah. 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 
30, 36 millimeter. I don't think they're going to do that, but that would be nice. That would be nice. Um, uh, Flava says donkeys. Thank you. Um, donkeys years. Um, Carmelo says, sei, sei un grande. Grazie, Carmelo. Um, thank you very much. TGV is, T, is TGV a London red? Uh, devil, devil face. Hmm, I'm not sure what that means. Do you mean gunners as in uh, Arsenal? Um, well, I was born in Fulham, so I'm a, I'm a cottager apparently by birth, but, but then I grew up in Wimbledon, so, and that was in the time of, Vinny and and uh, who else? Um, oh, I've forgotten his name now. You know when Vinny? Um, anyway, yeah, that's another discussion. Uh, <sighs> greetings from Poland. They get a lot of people from Poland. Um, Sil Silvio says I have the same jumper on. Very nice. Very nice. This actually, this is a cashmere jumper I bought on eBay for absolutely nothing. And I never heard of it. I just bought it because it was a good deal, and I liked the dark gray. I looked up the brand because I never heard, and and it was a brand that from Wall Street, so it kind of suits the, the hair. Um, John Perry says United. Yeah, we're going to start talking about football now. Let's 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 <laughs> uh, United United fan from London. Um, yeah, let's go back to football. Mister Hyde says thirty eight millimeter date just interesting interesting yeah so they've gone up and then they can you come down yeah possibly i i think um i think we could see a, a, what else it would be nice to see uh, uh, something new in the submariner line um because there hasn't really been that much change there for for a while um last year what was it the deep um sea dweller um yeah, I would like to see the Explorer, something something a bit daring, something a bit, you know, I hope Rolex just, you know, instead of these incremental changes, you know, um, uh, will Invi Gary says, will Invicta bring out an in-house movement? Who knows? Who knows? Look, the, I mean, he's probably joking, slightly joking, but with the advancement in technology and the way things are going, um, I think we are on the cusp, and certainly from what I'm seeing of that certain at first hand as well. If you if you remember my uh, the um, um, the Romain Gautier video, um, I know it's completely the, the high end and completely different perspective. But it, and when I was talking to him, he was explaining the future of, of uh, micro robotics and and how it's all going to change. It is an exciting time. I I wouldn't. I I don't think it's ever been. I think we're really on the cusp of something new. I mean, just just to seeing what is now capable and then is going to be capable. It's exciting, and of course, the high end will have it first because the technology is expensive. But you never know. Five, ten years down the line, it's 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 a great time to get into watches. Um, uh, who have we? Had? Um, jazz in Finland, very cool. Nice to have uh, the, the, the finisher with us. Uh, Grobnob, he says, uh, Arsenal, Gunners. Um, of course, of course. He's, uh, I would have thought you would be, it would have been a Hammers, uh, a Hammers type of a, um, a um, I forget what species he is. He's, a, he's a, not a gremlin, a, um, a troll. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, Mad says, greetings from Copenhagen. Oh, I'm dying to go to Copenhagen. I'm a big... Um, Fan, fan of um, the cinema uh, from from also um, I think is Mads Mikkelsen from there. I think, guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, anybody seen The Hunt is a great movie, and I'm a big fan of um, Nicholas Winding. That's the guy pre pre Hollywood. I mean, his Hollywood stuff's great, but his Bleeder, the Pusher trilogy, uh, blah. Pusher trilogy masterpieces of, of uh, cinema. Um, yeah, sorry, we get totally David. <laughs> we keep we keep going off on a tangent. Sorry, uh, Adam is in Canada. Love your content, TGV. Keep doing it. Or oh, no, sorry, keep keep it up. I will do. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, I I wouldn't be able to do it without all of you guys and, and the amazing support. Um, 
a lot of football uh, a lot of football fans cool cool footy um um what do they call it it's so soccer soccer sorry i am in america sorry um Oh, uh, Leon has a good question. Hi, TGV. Your take on uh, uh, Jacques uh, Dro? I think it's how you pronounce it. I, I have yet to experience one. Quite possibly in our return trip to uh, Switzerland later this year. Who knows? Who knows? I'm already saying too much, but stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, but you guys know I don't talk about things I haven't experienced. So, uh, yeah, yeah, let's... let's um, uh Faim 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 I think it is guys I apologize uh greeting from Fulham greetings from Fulham I'm a big fan from the start oh thank you my friend thank you um in fact actually if 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 there are any bottom fans and that sounds a bit weird but I'm talking about the British comedy the BBC comedy bottom with uh, the late great Rick Mayle and Aid Edmondson the, in the beginning of that show you know, in that the, the opening of the show, and they're kind of before they uh, aid hits him with the, and then punches him in the, uh, you know, in the private area. <laughs> but there's a shot of them overlooking a construction site. That that's Fulham. So that's not very glamorous, but that's where I was born. The hospital. I don't think the hospital is still. I think it's changed, but um, yeah, that's that's where I was born. Um, Nicholas says, what do I think of Alpina? I was this close to reviewing one. I really like their designs. Uh, I, I have handled one, so I can say they are. They certainly got their quality to them. Um, and I was due to review one. I don't know what happened. I, I think we kind of lost contact. Um, thing is, with companies, and guys, you know, this makes, this is a really great point. This is an important point. So I'm just keeping my eye on the, I am the uh, the light here. Um, yes. Uh, what was I saying? If you want me to review watches, write to the companies, tell them about the show, um, very politely, of course, respectfully, um, you know, as as the gentry does, and you know, see if they were willing to lend in a, a watch. Um, because a lot of the times, companies reach out to me because you guys have send them emails, you know, um, because I get requests to review this, review that all the time. I'm now way behind. I'm like two months behind in my review schedule. I'm, I'm, I will catch up. I've got some really exciting brands never um, featured before that that I will be doing. But Alpina is a prime example. They, 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 they've got an exciting product. They got some nice designs, original designs, good quality. As I said, I've handled one, um, especially their divers. Um, and actually, their chronographs. They've got a few nice chronographs, too. Um, but, yeah, reach out to them. Write to them. Um, I, you, know, you know, I have a rule that if I write to a company more than three times and I don't get a response, you know, I'm, I'm not going to pester them. Uh, but maybe they do listen to you guys. So, so yeah, if enough of you email them, why not? Why not? So I'm... Albino, if you're watching, I'm here. I'm um, all I ask is uh, um, a uh, what do they call it? Um, the postage, you know, the the return shipping label, so I can send it back to you safely. And I'm happy to review the watch. You know, that's how it works. How it works. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm way way behind. Daniel, uh, Daniel says, Victorinox, how do I feel about them? I love them. I've reviewed the Inox. I used to own the Maverick 2 Chronograph, I believe it was, before I had the channel. Great, great Swiss brand, of course, because of the knives. They also produce beautifully made watches. It's an entry level, but, you know, you get your money's worth. I love the, I think it's a, the, the newer officer's watch they have. It's a kind of field watch. I forget the reference. But yeah, I, I, I approve. I approve. I'll, I'll probably review another one again. Um, uh, <laughs> Eduardo says, you've let all your fans down, Arsene Wenger. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, Archinos uh, says, West Ham, Hammers. Very nice. Um, uh, Nefus says, is this guy very rich? Um, I presume you're talking about Arsene Wenger. Well, I hope so. Um, 
if if you're talking about me, I absolutely, I'm I'm um, penniless, absolutely penniless. Um, it, it's I have candles behind. This is candlelight. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, I don't know what should we say? Uh, was, uh, awesome videos, John. Thank you very much. Um, TGV, you legend. Brimont watches thoughts. Well, we did we did visit them. I am due to review one of their watches. I can't say much more than that. And also, we got something very special happening with Bramont. Uh, sorry, it's a silent T, I think. Bramont, Bramont, because it's a French. It's named after that field. If you saw that video, the beautiful story about the naming of the company. Um, so, yeah, I, I love their watches. I think they make exquisitely beautiful watches, the quality especially. Very, very excited about them. Um, full candles, yes, Dylan. Full candles, yeah, Ronnie Barker, yes, absolutely. Full candles, full candles, yeah. Uh, classic, classic sketch, classic sketch. So, I'm just, I was just, it's cold, but well, it's whiskey anyway, isn't it? It's whiskey, so mm. Indians. Um, you got to be rich because of all that watch collection. <laughs> well, to be honest, I. I don't have uh, uh, many other expenses. I mean, my wife is, is my main expense in my life. And then secondly, watches. So there we go. Um, oh, Andy has a great, great question here. He says, innovative Rolex, question mark, a smartwatch. Very good question mark. Um, sorry, question mark. Uh, uh, question. Yes, I look, smartwatches eventually it's just the way things are going to go all companies at some point are going to have some kind of version or interpretation of what we consider a smartwatch that's just the future uh, it's inevitable i don't think they're going to do it this year if they do i will be incredibly impressed um and i think it will really really change and, and if rolex do it everybody will do it but then um i i just look it's we'll never say never it would be crazy if they did though right looking at their history it's it's too much of a sudden jump i think they will probably do it in steps like they do um yeah it's a very interesting thought i i i yeah we need a time machine so we can um Go and have a look. Uh, dirty, dirty, ri dirty ribs. Dirty, dirty ribs says, "When is the next NYC meetup? We will have one. It's a little bit too cold at the moment. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but there was one video uh, that I recorded, and I was out in the blizzard. If you look back in my archives, you can find it. And I was talking about crazy habits watch collectors have, right? And the, the thumbnail is me standing in Queens in the middle of a blizzard. In that very video, I had a lung collapse. I think it was my, not, it was my third one, not my, my fourth wasn't that serious, but it was a, it was a big one during the video. And I remember after shooting the video, I came home and I, I wasn't, I wasn't breathing right and something. And I went to hospital that night. So temperatures really affect me. Um, and uh, so when it's a little bit warmer, also, you know, uh, it's just not very nice for you guys. So when it's a little bit warmer, we will have a, another meetup. So stay tuned. And hopefully London as well. I will be back in London now. I can travel and fly. Um, yeah, that will happen. Stephen Rhodes, Blackadder. Of course, of course. Love Blackadder. Love Blackadder. Um, Shaf says, Squally Crew, very nice. Nice to have you with us. Um, uh, what else do we have? Um, Patek will never do that. BS, Patek will never. Yeah, sorry, you guys are talking amongst yourselves. I, I, I'm not. Yeah, I can't keep up. I can't keep up. Um, uh, Christopher says, you're the man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Philippe says, I bought a Rolex GMT. Congratulations. Very, very nice. Um, uh, Dennis says, Vempe for a Rolex. Do you mean to exchange one? Um, 
that's an interesting i mean it's certainly an upgrade but i mean go with what you love go with what you what you what you enjoy you know um bradley says do you own any tag watches not currently i have in the past i was given one to review for the channel um which was really interesting i i i've reviewed a few the aqua racer i've reviewed Oh no, I, I did. I did. I own the 1000. I bought one to do the Wolf of Wall Street video, if you guys remember, uh, which was really fun. And uh, it was just a quartz, you know, diver, but great size. I think it was about 36 mil. It was gold plated. It was the one that, um, not the one, but similar to, to what uh, DiCaprio wore in the movie. And the video was about because I know he's an ambassador, but there was a deliberate reason why they put that watch in the video, other than him just coincided that he's an ambassador. But anyway, um, Odium says, I'm drooling over the uh, glycine co uh, right now. Yeah, I, you know, I so nearly bought one. I so nearly bought, bought one. Um, uh, what else? Uh, ring, <laughs> ring check. <laughs> yes, uh, this is a, um, a black star sapphire. Uh, I, it has this incredible iridescent quality to it. I forget the meaning of the stone. I think it's for, for protection and making, no, I'm thinking of onyx. Um, it's a guide, I think it's a guidance stone, but to be honest, I just bought it because it's, it's got such a deep color and I, I just really liked it. Uh, let's go back. Um, oh, Vempe is a jewelry store. Yes, of course, but I, I'm pretty sure it's a, it's they, they make watches they make watches as well um uh, grovs grovnov says i like the cappuccino in titanic especially the end <laughs> the cappuccino yeah um adam p will uh will the eta black bay black keep rising in value i think so i think so yes um yeah especially the rose one especially the rose one uh, they're, they're, they're not going to make any more with the rolls. Um, and, you know, a lot of people, the, the in-house is fantastic. It's great. Um, I, I, but, you know, something I've recently kind of, you know, especially with the Valjoux 7750, and I, I do appreciate after servicing a Tudor with, with, a, with the ETA, for a complete service, a complete service, by saltsmans who are the people I personally hire. I love their work. It was two hundred bucks. This is a day date or date day. Um, now, of course, the Black Bay could be different, but different price. But it's they're so. It's I kind of like not having to worry about it. Um, however, yeah, the in in house is you know it's it's you get the kind of. It's got more horological muscle to it, I guess you could say. Um, but I, yeah, had I have kept kept the Black Bay I had, it would probably would have, um, in time, definitely increased in value. I think. Um, um, you, 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 the, you, e. Sorry, I can't read. I can't. <laughs> uh, U W E. Sorry, I sometimes I have these blocks and I can't. I just can't read. Um, he says, it's nice, stylish light behind you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I've got the window open. It, it's going to change in a moment because the sun's going down. I have a massive, like a like a light over there that's blinding me. Um, why are we talking about light? Sorry. Let's see. Uh, please review the Omega Speedmaster triple date one day. Uh, and this is from Florian. I will. I will. They are a bargain on the used market. Uh, especially in Japan, you can pick them up for under two thousand. Um, I did actually. I did. I talked about them in my video of, of best deals. It was recent best luxury watches under two thousand dollars. You get a hell of a lot for the money. Um, oh, Jim C says unboxing a Dan Henry uh, nineteen seventy forty millimeter right now. Very nice. Love Dan Henry. Very clever what they've done. Um, I I I got to meet Dan Henry at an event here in New York, and he's a wonderful guy, uh, Brazilian collecting, insane collection. And you can tell because he what he's doing is so clever. He's he's he's, he's taking his knowledge of collecting 
from for decades since childhood and he has the in, most insane collection if you go to his website it, it has a it's a bit like snuffs it has his entire collection there and you can you can see all the and he's put it in a really cool timeline that you can move and it will as you go over it it'll, it'll show you the information about the watch it's wonderful even if you just want to learn about watches it's a great resource uh, uh, you know forget about his store or buying his watches his website's fantastic just for learning um but he's put all that accumulated knowledge and love into affordable quartz beautifully made and i love how open and, and approachable his brand is they're made in a higher end uh, factory in china and he, he shares pictures of the factory you can see it and it's a great way of getting a trouble free um vintage looking watch without the headache for a fraction of the price and they're styled so perfectly they've got little elements of you know like the 1939 that i reviewed has you could see a little bit of the, of the uh, longines uh z13 in it you could see classic uh 1930s amiga you know with the telemeter chronographs and it's fantastic. I just, I love, and actually, I got to see a little preview of his next project, which I can't talk about. But it's very exciting what he's he's going to be doing. Um, they're just very. Oh, oh, we have a we have a yellow question. I don't this this. I think I don't know what. Oh, I think this is a paid question. Cool. Uh, Daniel says, any thoughts on Pennsylvania's? Our RGM watch company seems they're making um, some outstanding timepieces, even their own turbo. Yes, absolutely. Um, I've I've been following them on Instagram, and I'm very very impressed. The problem the problem is here. Okay, to manufacture something in this country to that high level, obviously the price is going to be high. It's going to be out of most of our certainly my reach. You know, I'm uh, <laughs> a penurious. Uh, yeah, I, I, I need to control myself. Um, but you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to write to them. I'm going to, I'm going to try and see as they're in America, I, I should go and visit them. I will, you know, Daniel, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. You, you have my word. Actually, where's my Parker? I'm, I'm going to write this down. Sorry guys. I'm going to write this down right now. Otherwise, if I don't th write things down, I, uh, I forget. So, uh, email rgm um yeah okay I, i'll do that i'll do that guys i'll do that um guys also email them as well tell them about the channel uh, that will be very much appreciated if you want to help the channel that's the best way oh the chat's gone now come on where's it gone come on ah it's back it's back sorry um uh any more gentry gear sir yes stay tuned very very soon um it, it's it's i i never i never <laughs> understood how much running a website uh not only monetarily but the, the 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 infrastructure the it's it's a lot more involved than it is but uh, we'll, we'll get there we will get there guys you know it's Guys, I have a I have a team of my friends. Uh, shout out to Giancarlo, Vito, um, uh, Joey Bananas, um, <laughs> and and the rest, um, David as well. Um, it, it's a small team. We're friends. We're doing this together. It's it, we're not like a, a, a you know some corporation that has a huge budget and and um, but that's I, I like being independent and I like being a free agent and being, you know, working with my friends. Um, and you know, we're all here in the neighborhood. So it's, it's, that's keeps it fun and it keeps, and we, we can do what we want, you know? So, um, and I think that's important. So, but the downside is it takes time. It takes a lot of time to invest in the, in the website, but stay tuned. Um, I, I'm working on some very cool merchandise. Um, but you know, it takes, takes time. It takes time uh sgb news says what is your preference personally rolex or breitling mm. well i am a breitling navi timer guy but i would have to say rolex i own more rolexes than 
Brightlings, uh, I've owned two Brightlings. Um, I love Brightling, don't get me wrong. Um, but for me, um, oh, we just had another one of these yellow things. Is oh, it's the super chat. It's the super chat. That's what it is. From Il Ilir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Very. I didn't even know I had that. I don't. I don't know how that works. Well, I'll fi I'll figure it out afterwards. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm deeply uh, humbled and honoured. Um, sorry. What was I saying? A uh, Brightling. I I I adore Brightling, but you know. <laughs> I, I just have a special connection to Rolex for longer. Um, also, my Grail was a Rolex. Um, sorry, just move, move here. I take a quick sip. My throat is. Uh, mm. I got the Star Trek mug. Yeah, complete, complete nerdery there. But oh, oh well. Um, yeah, I Rolex, Rolex. What about you guys? Let me let me know in the comments if you're watching this in the future in the comments. If you're like, if you're with me right now, how many people we got? Five hundred and twenty viewers. My God, that that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. That doesn't. Um, I can't even. I don't think I even know five hundred and twenty people. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on the new Navi timer? Mm, I gotta be honest. I don't like being negative, but. I'm not. I'm not that mad about it, you know. I'm. I might have a totally different experience when I see it in the flesh, probably. Uh, however, I, I, I. It just doesn't feel like a navy timer, you know. I've only seen pictures on Instagram, so you know. I will reserve my uh let's see actually i'll get saltzman's they're an authorized dealer i'll get them to to lend one in if richard if you're watching i hope you're well my friend um rolex says uh, mil maybe milgauss or daytona Ooh, that's a big price difference well daytona right i'm not even into daytona's that much um clown thief clown thieves interesting name he says uh, rolex yacht master or sky dweller Definitely for me, Yacht Master. If you saw my review of the Yacht Master, especially the blue, that blue dialed one, oof, oh, my God, that that is. Uh, and I, actually, I reviewed the Sky Dweller as well. The Sky Dweller's a really cool complication. It's too big. I'm glad they brought it out in stainless steel last year because it just felt like a big chunk of gold, um, a little bit too gaudy for me. But if you're if you've got the wrist to pull it off. And I, I feel you have to have a certain style. Some people can just rock it, you know, with the confidence and it looks great on them. For me, it would just, you know, especially with this hair, it was, people get the wrong impression. Um, wow, I'm still, I need to catch up. Oh, my God. Insights on Zeppelin, uh, great watches. They are owned by the same company, parent company, made in Germany, that, that, um, they make a Schmidt, and there was one more, one more brand I forget, but it's a three, three. Um, uh, oh damn it! I've forgotten. Sorry, guys. Amazing quality, great quality. Um, it's the Germans know how to do affordable as well as their higher end pieces. I, I think they're fantastic. I've reviewed two. I think. Have a look back. Have a look back, my friend. Um, yeah, Junkers, Junkers, that's it. Thank you. Who was that? Ross, nice one, Ross. Yes, of course. How can I forget Junkers being an aviation fan? Um, uh, uh, Jasse, Jasse, I, I think that is Jasse Party says, I want to hear your thoughts on the Coke. Well, I love the fat lady, I love the pre ceramic. Um, I'm you know, I, I think. My, one of my predictions was was a was a was a Coke uh, ceramic. Um, yeah. Oh, um, Odium says Aristo. They are an, a, an old. I don't think they exist anymore. But I saw a beautiful 1940s chronograph. Uh, it was a column wheel, if I remember correctly, on eBay. Almost bought it because it had this Art Deco numerals. You guys know I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. 
Um, but I've just bought the Britix, um, and that's going to cost me a little bit of money. To if you saw the last the the last video, it's 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 yeah. If you could pick them up, yeah, why not? Um, Klaus says, uh, wristwatch check, Junkers, Annie, JU52, very nice. I love that watch. I love that watch. Guys, what are your wristwatch checks? Do share your, what are you wearing? Batman versus Coke, yeah, that's that would be very cool. That would be very cool. Thomas Hennessy says, um, no date, sub, or date. Well, I, well, I've, I own the, the date, as you guys know. Um, I'm, I kind of want the no date one Ugh. i think it's more of a connoisseur's piece um ilia as, as another two dollars for ilia um please put me uh, put a question so i can i can at least um help out with the question sorry what was i saying what was i saying this thing goes so fast um i need to clone myself so i can yeah, that would be a bit insane, wouldn't it? Um, oh, Sean is wearing Seiko at SNA414. Uh, Which version is that? Is that the, the white dial? Or No, no, is that the gold? kind of like the gold one. It's a bit loud for me, but it's kind of nice. Um, Keith is wearing a, a Ball Marvelite Engineer 2. Very nice. Love Ball. Love Ball. In amazing watches. Fantastic history. Um, I, they don't get enough love. In fact, I think they were my top 10 most underrated uh, brands. Uh, House, Dr. House is wearing a Rolex date just for sleeping. Sleeping in style, my friend. Very nice. Um, wristwatch check. Harvey, yeah, he's wearing the Dan Henry 1939. You stylish, dapper chap indeed. Um, uh, uh, Berra, Berra, Berra. Berra, I'm not going to pronounce that. Berra. I'll just keep it Berra. He's wearing the Saab 033. Wow. S-E-K has just is sporting the channel. 100. Is that $100? Or S-E-K? I don't know. what. I, guys, I've got to figure out what this thing is. Um, I really appreciate it. I, if, it's, if it's... I didn't know you could do that. Um, let me know your question. I will. I will answer your question. Do I, what happens if I click on it? Oh, I, if I click on it, it comes up. I'm so sorry. Okay, this is from Sweden. Thoughts on the Orient Sun and Moon? I love the Orient Sun and Moon. Um, this is a watch, uh, and I've got to be completely honest about this. And I'll answer the previous question in just a moment. When I saw the online pictures, I didn't think that much of it. I thought, ah, it's not a full moon phase. Mm. Then I saw my good friend Mark from Long Island Watches. Uh, I can't remember what I, I had a meeting with him. Uh, no, no, that was right. We, we, we had a meal together because he wanted to drop, drop off some watches I was going to review for the channel. And he was wearing his sun and moon. I think it was the blue dial version. And I couldn't get over how it, it's, it's a little bit better than um, in quality than the typical audience. I, I, and, and it really impressed me. And I thought, you know what? It's, it's really, really nice. It wasn't that too big. I think it's 40 millimeters. I might be wrong. I was going to review it. I, I said, Mark, you know, can I borrow? You know, I, did, I wasn't going to take the watch off his wrist, but um, he's reviewed it. Uh, there's there's a lots of reviews. I don't think there's much I can add to the conversation, um, except for you know it is much nicer in person than it is online. Um, maybe I should review it uh, if they bring out uh, um, um, what was it called, Orient Sun and Moon a two. Uh, I'll definitely I'll definitely cover it. Right, let me go first. Let me go back. Okay, uh, we got another another um, uh, is it super chat question from this is uh, Jeppe. Um, thank you very much for your, um, your 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 I guess donation is it donation I don't know. It's his first watch bang. Um, it's first watch bang for buck and future value. Explorer two versus Pelagos. Oh, that 
now that guys i hand it over to you let me know your thoughts palagos explorer 2 let's get your feedback let's get you guys involved i personally uh, oh. Depends on the on the on the color because if you go if you go Pelagos, I like the blue one. It's so tool tastic. Well, they're vo they're both very tool tastic. They're no nonsense tool watches. Um, both of them, interestingly, have the same kind of disadvantages. Of I, I, they're not that dressy. I mean, you can't dress them up, in my opinion. My opinion, they're very rugged. They're a bit like they're a bit like the um, this old cosmonaut. Uh, especially the brushed finished of brushed finish of the um, the titanium of the Pelagos. It's it's a it's a they're both rugged, no nonsense, you know, tool watches. I'd probably go with the Rolex because you got that Rolex tradability and blah blah blah. And um, ha the the Pelagos is close. They're very different genres. I would also take into consideration your lifestyle. Size wise, obviously with the Rolex, you can get the smaller, you could get the older version with the, the 40 millimeter. Now they've, I, I'm pretty sure they're 42, right? With the, the newer orange hand. Um, so if you if you want them bigger, you can go bigger. With the Pelagos, you've only got one choice of size. I'd also look at, I know this sounds really simple, but sometimes look at what you're wearing. If you're a suit and tie kind of guy, Pelagos, I don't know. Um, yeah, the hmm, probably the Explorer. You could put it on a vintage kind of strap. Pelagos is the Pelagos is so modern. It's so, you know. Um, but yeah, look at your lifestyle, your sartorial choices. Uh, if investment is important to you, go with the um, go with the Rolex, um, and also the functionality of the complications. Do you want a GMT more than you want a dive time bing bezel? They're both pretty water resistant. You could eat, you know, take both of them in the water, obviously one being a diver. So there you go. I, I, I think you've got to take all of that. And how do I go back to the chat? How do I, ah, I figured it out, sorry. <laughs> I'm like an old man. Um, yeah, Let, yeah, that's what you've got to take into consideration. Okay, let's just, let's just click on that. Uh, Ilya, if you if you can repost your question, I'll I'll get to it. I missed it; it's too far back in the in the live chat. Um, let's see what uh, uh, Chris Lee says. What? Oh, hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. I recognize your uh, avatar, um, a true gentry uh, commentator there, a regular. Um, he says, actually, let me just get another swig of the old. Uh, yeah, this is too big to be whiskey, right? I'd be on the floor. Mm. Sorry, I do apologize about that. Um, yeah, what's on the next purchase for TGV? Uh, Speedmaster. I'm I'm gonna get another Speedmaster. Definitely, definitely. I every day it changes which one I'm gonna go for. So it's it's to be honest, I I, I kind of get sick of looking at them. Um, which is weird, and then suddenly I see one on Instagram, and I'm more excited again, and I, you know, I start wanting it, and yeah. Um, Charles says Explorer Two, yeah, I, I can, I, I can agree. Uh, Eric says your impressions of of the new 38 millimeter Panerai. I'm, I wasn't aware. I honestly wasn't aware. I do not keep, guys. I don't really keep that abreast of the watch news. Um, and I know it sounds a bit strange, but um, because sometimes the, the the initial reaction, people, sorry, excuse me, you know, as people get things, there's uh, like last year, um, the last year's Basel World, Basel World releases was was a prime example of of yeah, it's it, there's all I almost kind of wait till till it's died down, and then I. I I have to see it. I, I'm very excited. Of, I mean, part of me doesn't want to see it. I mean, I do not want. God, if it's 38 millimeters and very nice, I will. Um, mm, yeah, yeah, it won't be good for my wallet. 
Uh, Wayne says, um, and he's and he's, uh, he's uh, this was a super. I think it's called super chat. Uh, this is a super chat question. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you very much. He says, can you share expectations for Zin in two thousand eighteen? I have not thought about it honestly. Very. It's, I'm glad you brought it up. Um, they're they're another company that just does these very subtle. I mean, the the last year, what was it? The uh, inverted, the polar. 104, which was just, you know, it, it seemed so, so kind of not obvious, but it seemed so logical. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. I love that. I really like that. Um, I would like to see hmm, maybe, maybe a special edition one of, no, maybe something else from the 104. What else have they got? Um, I forget the watch they made for the, um, for that German astronaut, but uh, I, I, I was briefly looking at it. I forget the reference, guys. If you know, do share down below. I'd like to see something like that, perhaps a new. I think it was pretty sure it was um, not PVD. I might be wrong. Anyway, guys, let me know. Let me know. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Sean says, "Will you sell sell your sub if they bring out a Coke GMT?" No, I no, I I have my. I have my um my my Pepsi my my pre pre uh, ceramic Pepsi so I'm not in terms of in terms of GMT I'm I'm very happy very happy uh, Pete says more watches for small wrists yes absolutely I think sizes are coming down I think new sweet spot is going to be forty millimeters instead of forty two that was the kind of the the the, the benchmark or the the kind of the the line in the sand or the or the the watermark or whatever you want to say for a long time um yeah i think 40 is the new 42 i think 36 is the new 38 um 38 is the new 40 i mean you could go on uh, um you know i've just bought a 33 millimeter ap which suits me down to the the ground it's a it's a men's watch well actually it's unisex but um, it was that was the norm, um, even up until the the nineties. So it's it's just it's the typical cycle. It's, it's it takes slower with with watches because it's not like fashion that that is seasonal. Watches take you know decades. Um, uh, JB Re Re reveal soul says are you still a fan of citizen absolutely absolutely their eco drive watches are fantastic i've owned many before i had the channel as i've said many many times um i love them i i badly need to review more citizen i've kind of thing is seiko comes in you know uh just knocks everything out of the way at that price range it's very difficult um and also i was trying to focus a little bit more on hamilton and, and new brands I try and uh, bring a new brand I haven't reviewed before every month. So I hadn't gotten AP last uh, ever on the channel. I mean, I've talked about them. So that was last month. I will be reviewing my AP, hopefully uh, Royal Oak at some point. Um, but yeah, that's high end. On the entry level, I've got some more entry level brands as well. I'm, I'm always going to cover the full. I need to. Oh, and actually, someone says, "P.S. What's the opinion?" It's the same person. P.S. What's the opinion on the Nighthawk? Love the Nighthawk. I owned. I didn't own the Nighthawk. What was it that I owned? It was a Promaster. It was a Promaster. Oh God! I, thing is, they got such long numbers. I can't remember. It had um, world, world time. Does the sound okay? So I heard. I heard something a bit funny there. Five hundred twenty-seven viewers. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy i don't even know that many people in my life um yeah i love the nighthawk amazing complications great watches citizen are beautifully made for the money uh reliable robust and their qc i'm you know some may disagree i think they're better than than seiko at, for their money i really do uh, uh um hageman or hageman says nth I, is that a wristwatch check Actually, where is my ATA? I need to wear that. I love that watch. I need to wear that. Right. This is coming off later, and I'm putting my uh, old knacky, the knacking on. 
um, uh, uh, flipping Zippo just got here. Welcome, welcome, sir. Welcome. Um, um, J James says, um, Phoebeos, Phobios, Phobios brand. What do you think? I'm not, I haven't tried them. I can't, I can't honestly say, but I'm willing to, I'm willing to. Do, do they make, I'm pretty sure they make divers, right? Pretty sure. Oh my God. Uh, Jack says, Nomos Glashute versus Rolex Explorer. That, that's, that's a, well, it's a very, very different genre and style. Um, you know I'm going to say Explorer, right? You know I'm going to explore. I, don't get me wrong. I love Nomos, but they're, they're a little, they're too fragile. They're, they're very minimalist. Um, they're so different to a Rolex Explorer. I mean, I'm always going to say Rolex Explorer. I mean, I love Nomos. Love you, Nomos, but, but yeah. Um, what have we got? What have we got? Uh, Scott says, love your channel, sir. Good day to you. Well, good day to you. Thank you very much, um, Scott. This is really fun. This is, I mean, apart from I have the annoyance of looking at this, this Muppet here, but I, I, I like this bit, uh, chatting with you guys. That's a little bit too bright, sorry. Um, and I had all these articles I wanted to talk about. Should we go back to uh, predictions? Guys, if you missed, if you missed the beginning of the, the stream, I was talking about my predictions. So uh, Coke Ceramic, um, something new with the sub possibly, and Polar Explorer, something, a very wild card. And I think this is an important point to make. We should dif differentiate between what we think Rolex is going to do and what we would love Rolex to do. Very different things. So my predictions are very quite safe, conservative. I, I agree with uh, Monochrome Magazine on a lot of theirs. Very interesting to see. I might do a follow-up stream to see what, what predictions. Guys, do share your predictions in the comments if you're watching this in the future and in the live stream right now. Share your predictions, please. And then we'll follow up and then we'll see how many came true. Um, and then, of course, there's the, the, the kind of wishful thinking. So mine was the um, uh, Datto compacts chronographs of the 50s. Uh, and even earlier, I mean, some of their chronographs from the 30s. I know it's very niche. It's, it's n probably not to everybody's tastes. Uh, but it would be nice to see some more complicated, higher-end uh, complications from Rolex. Uh, nobody can deny they've mastered the luxury sports watch but it would be nice to see some a triple calendar it would be nice to see a triple calendar and the chronograph you know um and, and i think there's something if, if guys if you're not familiar with that watch or these watches i'm talking about if you have this book where is it this book here the rolex story there we go can you can you guys see that uh, if we go to page, I, I feel like the priest, uh, to the congregation. If we turn to page 113, we will now read. Oh, no, 133. We'll re read now about the uh, Jean-Claude Killy. So the uh, French champion um, uh, skier, racing skier. There we go. So now this is, I believe this is the... Uh, uh, this is the stainless steel version. Um, yeah, so this is the, yeah, so, uh, I, I really like the, the rose gold and I'll also post an article of the one that sold at, uh, Philips in Hong Kong in the description when this gets uploaded after the live stream. Um, so that sold for an absolute whopping fortune, you know, um, so you get an idea how rare they are. I just think they're beautiful. I think they are beautiful. Um, so let me read a little bit about this one. Um, so the Caliber 72C, uh, which, as we know, was a, was a as, as I said earlier, was a column wheel. Um, so it was a 30-minute and 12-hour counter, full calendar, date, weekday, month. Um, yeah, and just... Uh, just beautifully elegant, beautifully elegant. I'd I like to see more elegance from Rolex. I think 
that's why I, my favorite release last year was the, the Cellini with the moon phase. So let's see what you guys are, are, are saying for your predictions. Um, let's have a look. Uh, finally, a Rolex in 45 millimeters. <laughs> I, I presume that was a joke. Um, date moon, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's have a look. Any more? They will stay conservative, says uh, D Peck. Yeah. Um, Rolex Explorer 36 with the oyster bracelet. Oh, I think that was a, from a previous thing. Guys, let me know what your predictions for Rolex are. Let me hear more predictions. What what what, what Rolex is? Blah, sorry, blah, blah, blah. What Rolex is would you love to see? Okay, forget what you think they're going to do what you'd really like to see. Maybe a reissue of a classic Rolex. Oh, Enrique, my good friend Enrique says, Rolex G-Shock. My God, that would be that would be hilarious, wouldn't it? Um, Sebas, uh, Sebas, sorry, he says, love the channel TGV from Austria. Uh, what do you think about the Omega um, Seamaster Professional 300 Ceramic versus the Zin EMZ 13 chrono diver oh oh i think i sense a jewel on the horizon that would be really cool um i love the zin i love the zin haven't experienced that one uh i have experienced the ceramic seamaster as i've owned one as you know um why not jewel the chronograph seamaster i think that would be fair more fair however i think I think the Seamaster would win because of its heritage, because it's, it's, it's a, the brand is just so strong. Um, also, that the Seamaster line, I think it's their longest running line of watches, if I remember correctly. Uh, that was the doorbell. Uh, I can't answer that. Um, yeah, I. Yeah, the. Hmm. The, the Zin is probably the better watch in terms of uh, in terms of it's, and they're gonna have to wait. I'm talking to uh, I'm talking to my audience. Um, yeah, in terms of what the the, the uh, because they have uh, Zin have uh, developed their own technologies. Um, so I have to look at the the Zin EMZ thirteen again, see what it comes with. But I think the Zin is the better watch, but the Omega would win because of its heritage. That's my prediction if we jeweled it. Um, I think just. Um, oh, Valin says bubble back, California dial. Very, oh, yeah. That would be so cool. Stainless steel Pepsi GMT. Yes, I'm with you on that one. Um, tuna, tuna, ch tunokis. I think that's Seiko, Seiko nut backwards. He says Rolex Seiko. <laughs> so, uh, a kind of Franken hybrid. That would be interesting. Um, yeah, probably one of the um, the offerings from eBay from India for some reason. They, yeah, guys, avoid avoid those Franken watches. Uh, Rolex Quartz, yeah. Thunder Moth, interesting, very cool name. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Possibility. Ah. Um. Um. Hawk Mo says, do you like Rush Rush for Cold? Or Rush for I've got to be honest, I'm not I'm not familiar with them. I'm not familiar with them at all. I'm going to whenever I find something I'm not familiar with, um I write it down, especially when it comes to uh, it's a great way to learn vocabulary, especially. And I've probably completely butchered it, but I will I will write that down. Rush. Roche, Roche Fu called sounds French, so I've probably completely butchered that. I apologize. Um, I'll look into it. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. Um, very kind. Uh, well, it's GMT, GMT. Um, uh, <laughs> Grov says Domino Pizza uh, calling. Nah, nah. <laughs> no, I not. Yeah. Not gonna get into that one. Um, uh, uh, Alexander says you should open the door. Y yeah. Um, no, I, I. You are. You guys are my priority. Um, a non-sub-looking Rolex. 
says ni addictive guy interesting shark submariner interesting i, I don't know what that means uh, another person said pizza delivery interesting actually the pizza here we do get some very good pizza um yeah so um one advantage of living in queens undoubtedly uh what else what else what else come on let's see what some more come on tgv i need to um oh Haw hawk says handcrafted in switzerland very well definitely gonna um definitely gonna look into it oh michael gomez uh, it says well overdue to support you my friend thanks for everything white dialed explorer 214270 would be epic i i totally agree i totally agree uh would you call it the everest oh you genius you absolute genius yes yeah i think okay right let's make a note of the time chaps the time is according to this it is 1723 on tuesday the is my yep day date complication on the uh, cosmonaut is is correct so on tuesday at, at uh 1700 17 2300 hours um who was it michael came up and christened if they do indeed release it it as the everest so you sir will be forever and this is the the proof this video is the proof that uh it is uh, will be named from this moment forth the christen it the everest uh he says makes it harder to snub against the subby yes yeah uh but that uh, yeah very true very true god i'd have to buy one. Oh god yeah that's dangerous that is dangerous thank you thank you my friend thank you um uh, let's let's have a look a, ju a jungle rolex for fighting predators in the tropics is what we need yes that's um the right dishonorable grubnob again there thank you sir um what else what else what else uh stefan says it's wednesday in romania ah, oh of course it is of course it is of course i'm not wearing my gmt so um it's getting is the is the light okay it's very bright for me the sun is going down um where is the wine? Yeah, it's almost wine time. Got un altro mezz'ora e poi vado a bere un po' di vino, ragazzi. Un po' di vino, un po' di olive, a little bit of some pistachios, probably. Um, yeah, what else? What else? New Rolex Pilot. Yeah, possibly. The I mean, last year was the Air King. Was that last year or was that year year before? I can't even remember now. It's a big blur. Um, the uh, the Air King was updated, wasn't it? I mean, yeah, with, with that the new the new dial layout and that colourful green Rolex in green. Uh, light is great. Thank you, uh, Bernhard. Thank you, Bernhard Films. There. Uh, what else? Ro a Submariner competitor. Vino. Adam says Vino. Um, Emily says formaggio, un po' di formaggio. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I gotta say, I do like fr the French cheese when it comes to uh, cheese. Um, Rolex Alpinist <laughs> says David, absolutely, very nice, very nice. Oh, the, we, we have another, we have another uh, super chat uh, come in. Um, this is from the OM4N. He says. I spent way too much money since I discovered your channel. You and me both. <laughs> you and me. I'm my own worst victim, my friend. Trust me. Um, so he says, I spent way too much money since I discovered the channel. So let's spend some hit some here. Some more, he says. Haha, <laughs> smiley face. Keep up the awesome videos. I love my Aquas and Zin 903. Much love from Finland. Very cool. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, thank you kindly um what a what a what a twosome there a, an aquis and we've got to review the new aquis i'm gonna i'm gonna reach out to saltzman's get that 40 mil it's the 39 millimeter isn't it the new one i'm gonna get it in um much to my detriment i think uh the zin 903 oh gorgeous that's the chronograph right that's i'm pretty sure 
I can't remember. The numbers, I get confused by the numbers. Um, yeah, but you know what? It's it's a pleasure. It, it, it's, and I know there's always this 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 attitude um, that, especially when it comes to more affordable watches, that uh, it's you, you you should save the money, put it more towards more expensive pieces, that kind of thing. I I don't I don't feel like that way. That the amount of enjoyment I get, um, it, it just it it's worth every penny for me. Guys, you may be different. If you you may be different, you might not get the same feeling from a Casio F ninety one W as I do. Of course, I'm going to have that nostalgia. I'm going to have that childhood link. But that ten dollars, it's the best ten dollars I could. Uh, the only the only better thing to spend for me for me is spending that money on my wife or loved ones, family. That's the only thing, um, you know, that is more important. What, so I probably books as well. Beautiful books. I love books. And probably music. Probably quite a lot of things. A lot of art. Okay, art is definitely okay. Family, w wife, family, art, and then watches. So you know, it's in that order. And there's so many things. I mean, people collect cars. People collect um, shoes and fancy sh suits and all the rest of it but yeah sorry i'm totally getting off on a con on a, uh bernhard films uh, uh, says thoughts on the pp aquanaut um it doesn't do anything i'm sorry it doesn't do anything for me i i prefer the nautilus it's very very nice it's very beautifully made um i just it just doesn't do it for me for me if it, hmm. i kind of like it on the rubber strap i gotta admit yeah i'm not crazy about it i'm not you know i can't i can't yeah um what are your thoughts what are your thoughts guys i, I, I yeah i would definitely want to review one and i don't and it's not that i haven't experienced one i have um I but I didn't get to wear it. I've only seen it on on a, somebody else's wrist, so I could have a totally different experience. Uh, oh, I just got an indication here. I have an appointment in thirty minutes. Okay, guys, we're going to have to wrap this up soonish. So, oh, good thing this reminded me. All right, guys, uh, let's end on some mil miscellaneous chat you know just for a bit of fun random questions um uh, i'll just answer some of these last ones before uh, uh before i go um he, oh somebody said william you need a picture of an ad adrams m1 a2 on your wall yeah i, I do love that tank i'm more into the world war ii um, tank um, uh, Jathew Maxson says T. Okay. All right. Cool. Oh, that's, of course, that's Matthew. Hello, Matthew. Shout out to you, my friend. Um, uh, please ask if I, yeah, I'm not gonna, please ask if, oh, come on. Let's not, I'm not trying to sell watches here. Let's, let's keep it. Let's help the, let's help the, 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 the uh, let's have a bit of fun, help the people. If you want to sell the watch, put put it in the um, put it in the Facebook group. You know, um, Justin says TGV is the Sari zero fifty seven a good alternative to the Saab zero three three for bigger wrists? I is that forty millimeters? I'm pretty sure. If it's the watch, I think it is. Then yes, absolutely. Any Sar S A R Y, any S A R G, any S A R B, they're all good. They are all, they are all good. The quality is pretty consistent consistent across the board. There, go for it, my friend. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Uh, Zinni says Stuka or Messerschmitt Stuka. I love the 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 ang the um, the seagull shaped wings. Um, also, there's just something, especially the the, the way they have those fixed. Um, um landing gears on the, on the um the landing wheels on the underneath with the, that curved it reminds me a little bit like a car the um 
Ah, what do you call it? The um, of course, the words escape me uh, while I'm doing a live show. Of course, but there's just something about the design. I love them. I love them. Um, Grub says uh, new Disney own Star Wars. Will R two D two watches sell Miss Mickey Mouse? Yeah, actually, that's a pretty good uh, point um, about film franchises and watches. Yes. Um, I could see that happening. I still have my Star Trek make it so watched. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't admit to that, but I love that thing. Um, yeah, let's have a look down. Yeah, Citizen better quality than Sega. I have to say generally, yes. I mean, look, what I whatever I say is always in my opinion. You could buy a Citizen tomorrow, it could break. Could just stop working. This is the nature of complex mechanical, or even with eco drive, it's happened. Nothing, none of these things are infallible to 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 stopping working. Something we all have to accept. So don't you know if you if you buy a Citizen tomorrow and say, oh TGV said that TGV said they're better quality. Um, in general, from my experience, from all the Seikos and Citizens I've ever owned held in the flesh generally they felt better made that's that yeah i think that's a better way of putting it right i think that's a better way of putting it president or daytona i'd go for president role i just i i love the daytona but the thing is the, the daytonas i like are let's have a look here they are I like the pre the pre um, Daytona chron um, pre yeah the pre Daytona chronographs which are these these cost heaven and earth um, so I have very expensive taste when it comes to the Daytonas so I'd have to go I, you know I'd have to go present um, there is something about them oh uh, Matthew says I do not want to buy I do not want to. I want to buy a Seiko Marine Star, not sell one. Oh, okay. Sorry, I misunderstood. Yeah, if anybody has a Seiko Marine Master, um, <laughs> yeah, contact Matthew. Um, Roll says TGV for president in 2020. <laughs> I'm very flattered, but yeah, politics is not my, yeah, I just, yeah. Not gonna get into that. I'm not gonna, I, yeah, it would be interesting. Certainly, I'd learn a level of a lot. Probably things I don't want to learn. Um, I I think that would seriously hurt my soul um, to do something like that. Um, you're running late. Go go go. Yeah yeah, I am. I am. How many? T how much time we got? Got a little bit of time left. Okay, let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this up. I'm, I'm trying to speed up. Um, uh, Enrique says, interesting new Orient w dress watch, the Bambino Killer, smiley face. Oh, they, have they got a new watch or is this something you want to see? Um, they, d they do have the new Bambino, which was beautiful. The pictures, I've only seen the pictures. My only issue was the date. I wish they had not put the date at three. It kind of, because they had the sub dial, the seconds, sub seconds at six and then they put a you know they could have and also it's 40 millimeters again okay fine 40 millimeters it's the crowd pleaser size um i hope they didn't do 21 millimeter lug width i hope they learned and did the 20 um but why it should have been 38 and they should have got rid of the date just sub seconds and that beautiful 12 i, I think it's got 12 3 9 and 6 Applied markers. Um, uh, SBG News says a, a Breitling or, or Omega, my opinion, which is better. <laughs> None is better, okay? They, they both excel in different areas. Um, I think generally Omega wins because they just have more under their belt. Um, in terms of iconic watches, in terms of achievements, um, innovations, just the range of what they offer. Oh, we there was a 
there was a slight hiccup there, guys. Uh, am I still with you? I'm just going to watch the... Uh, yeah, there was a flicker, wasn't there? There was a flicker. <laughs> Somebody said, Michael, that was a very political answer. <laughs> um, yeah, the thing, yeah, the thing is, with 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 that kind of thing, you're only going to end up offending people. And to be honest, it's it's not something I I concern my time with. Time is too short for me. You know, um, some people are really into that, and that's great. Um, yeah, there was a flicker. Hawkmo said, "Yeah, I don't know what that was. Um, I think my internet's still going. We we we're we're going. We're going. We're okay. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes." Thoughts on the Omega uh, Speedmaster Z is uh, Z thirty three, isn't it the X thirty three or Z thirty three? Um, whichever, uh, if there is a, a Z thirty three, I'm not aware of that one. I am aware of the X thirty three. I like them. I gotta admit, a lot of people despise them. They don't like that whole anti digi thing. I think they're really cool. When I was researching the Fortis video, this the one I just did. The Amiga Annie Digi watches were the watches I saw the most of, probably after the speed. And I'm just talking about when I was re researching photographs, trying to find photos of, of cosmonauts and astronauts wearing uh, this bad boy. Uh, that Amiga, the X33 or Z33, whichever it is, which one it is, kept popping up. A lot, a lot, even in the new um, space missions or, or more recent space missions. Um, Chris, Lee, Chris says, uh, oh, he's talking to somebody else there. Your opinion on uh, long jeans? Well, I've only covered the, the slightly more higher end long jeans, uh, which was a, the, uh, I forget, but it had the moon phase triple calendar, I think it was, or something like that. I love, I love long jeans. I've, they're, their vintage pieces are an absolute bargain in the used market. You can get some stunning long jeans. I will, I will cover them again. Um, and I did talk about their history in that video. Um, they, I think their glory days are certainly behind them. And, uh, but we can never forget their contributions to, especially chronographs. Uh, being one of the early innovators of of of, of chronographs on the wristwatch, I'm talking about. Um, yeah, Kevin says absolutely. I don't know if that's to me or to somebody else. Uh, oh, great question from Alexander. Any brand you want to explore in 2018? Great question. Thank you, Alexander. Alexander. Um, yes, there's tons. There's tons. <laughs> I really want to. Um, actually, I should turn this on. Sorry, guys, it's getting a bit dark. Turn this on. That's a bit better. Sorry. Um, yes. Let's have a. Let's have a. Um, some of the. I, I want to look at the new newer Gerard Perrigo, not the vintage stuff. The new per, uh, Gerard Perrigo. Uh, I want to look at um, more brightening. I, I know I've covered brightening a lot, but uh, there's always more brightening, more safe, of course. Um, who else? Who else? Hanhart. I definitely want to get a Hanhart in. More German. Actually, that brings up a great point. More German brands. I definitely, one day I will review a Lange. Yeah. Uh, because unfortunately, if you saw the video when I went to Harrods, it was two years ago now, they asked me to stop filming when I was in the store. In a way, it was good because I just got to experience the watches, uh, but I couldn't share it with you guys, obviously. I did sneak in a few shots before the security really got angry with me. And I, you know, I, I didn't want to get <laughs> thrown out of Harrods. Um, TGV gets thrown out of Harrods. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. Maybe I, need, I should get invest in hidden no 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 hidden cameras. That's a bad idea. But it's, sorry, sorry, forget that. Um, yeah, Lange. I, so I got to try it on. I fell in love. I was really impressed. But I I I and 
in a way, I'm thankful because that experience was just for me. It was just me. I wasn't worried about the lighting of the camera and is the sound recording and all of this kind of stuff and not getting in any people's faces into the shot or reflections and blah, 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 blah. This is all things you have to think about when you're filming. It's very difficult filming, especially outside of your own property. Um, so I had that private moment and I really want to get a review, do a proper review. Probably something simple like the um, Saxonia, you know, that, that really simple. Anyway, let's, let's, um, what's your favorite Lang A? Uh, the Langmatic. Uh, that's from Dominic. Thank you, Dominic. Yeah, Langmatic. I love it. Uh, Chris says, uh, Hidden Camera, TGV Go CD. Yeah, um, that would be interesting. Actually, you know what a hidden camera would be great for? Is going into different boutiques and I'll angle it down so I can, and I'll dressing differently seeing how they react to somebody or how they treat customers and who treats their customers the best. I think that would be interesting. Um, I'd probably get sued to, you know, the other side of the moon, but I would, uh, it would be, an, I think, because I have heard of, especially in New York, the boutiques here, and even from my own experience, I'm not going to name any names, but, I, I I was less than impressed of some of some people's service. Other boutiques, super super high end, they bring drinks out. They bring uh, you know they sit you down. They talk. I, it, they it's like you're we're best friends, you know. And I understand it's part of their job. But um, Bremont were, were a fantastic example um, of just you know. And guys, if you're ever in New York, especially Manhattan, go into their store, have a coffee, just. I have a coffee with them. Just talk watches. Um, you know, they're, they're so open to doing that. Other stores are not, you know. Um, Dylan says, TGV, please do that. I, I will. I am working on more boutique visits. Uh, we're going to do Seiko next, I think, hopefully. Uh, let's, have a, let's have a look. What, how are we doing for time? Oh, we're cutting it close. Last 10 minutes, guys. Last 10 minutes. To get your um, anything non rock watch related, cinema, art, literature, you know, uh, why not? Why not? Um, oh, yeah, it's um, uh, 714 Monkey says, I had a terrible experience at Shinola store. I'm sorry about that, that's uh, unfortunate. Uh, James says, Any thoughts on the Tudor range? I haven't given Tudor a, a thought, especially for their Basil World predictions, because. That's the wonderful thing about Tudor. They're, they're, they're like the, the younger, wild brother, the younger, cra slightly crazy younger brother of Rolex, right? They do, yeah, you know, who knows what they're going to do. You know, they come out with some z zebra print, Lady Gaga craziness. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> who knows? But do, guys, if you're watching this in the future, please share your predictions of Tudor in the comments. If you're on the live chat, let's uh, let's um, see that. Uh, Rolex, uh, roll X. Oh, I get it now. He's roll space X. Very clever. Very clever. He says, "Where was it? Where was it? Had a good." Oh God, I can't go back now. Um, I believe his question. I, why can't I go back? Oh, it's too long. The chat is too. It's moving too fast. I think. Let's, let's see that. Come on. Oh, I've lost the chat. No, I've lost the chat. Oh, come on. Oh, man, that is annoying. All right. So I'm going to try and reload this. Let's come back to this. That is really annoying. Oh, it's back. Okay. Roll X. He says, yellow or white gold present? I'd go yellow gold. And I know that surprises a few people because simply because uh, as in my family it's tradition to wear a signet ring um and it's always been tradition to wear a yellow gold um so i'd get it to match the signet ring uh, and i know i know it's that's not for everybody and i appreciate that um and I, it, it is i wouldn't wear it on the bracelet i think the bracelet is a bit too much gold for me especially with this hair 
my kind of face, the way I dress, walking around Queens, I don't want to give off the wrong impressions. But even though as soon as I, I open my mouth, I, they, they, you know, I'm British, obviously. Um, but I, I, we've lost the camera again. There was another flicker. Sorry. I think that the, the YouTube gods are uh, telling us it's time to go, I think. Um, I also think, that because I've got really rubbish internet here, people are coming home from work, they're starting to put the Netflix on, you know. Yeah, yellow gold, if some people can pull it off. Like, I have a friend of mine who has a yellow, do a yellow gold president. He has a more olive complexion than me. It looks fantastic. On him, he has a particular look. Uh, he wears kind of flowery shirts. Um, actually, that sounds that sounds a little. He's you know he's very masculine. He's one of those guys that how can I describe? Bit of a playboy. Let's let's. And if he's not watching this, um, VN, if you're watching, shout out to you, my friend. Um, yeah, uh, it suits him. And it looks great on him. For me, I think it would. I, I would cheapen it, or, or you know, I'd so I'd wear it on a strap, but I'd still go yellow gold. Woman's watch under two hundred, uh, perhaps rose gold under two hundred dollars. Have a look at the Orient. The I reviewed it recently with the um, the Power Reserve. I forget what it was. Damn it, guys! If you know, um, it was a dress watch automatic with a beautiful kind of guilloche dial. It was under 200 it was rose gold it would be perfect Spe unisex unisex excuse me i think it is vino time it is vino time i haven't got the vino with me i've only got the uh, the giant space uh, star trek mug of whiskey <laughs> mm. shout out to my star trek fellow star trek fans um Kenny says, love the show. Adios, uh, says uh, Diago. Um, thank you, Kenneth. Uh, thank you, uh, Adios, uh, Diego, uh, Grub. Thank you so much for the fantastic uh, comments, everybody. Uh, will you review uh, uh, Bomb and Mercier? Of course, I will do. Um, their chronographs are highly underrated, especially their vintage. I talked about them recently in my top 10 luxury brands under two thousand dollars have a look at that video for some suggestions I, I briefly i think it was an honorable mention but yeah have a look at their vintage stuff incredible chronographs uh the im4 says uh good night good night my friend um uh yeah uh grobnob sent me an invitation if i can i have an appointment in 10 minutes if i'm done with that in time if you're still awake i will i will try and pop in um, give me oh, time. I'm going to actually, it's going to be, it might take an hour. So yeah, it's, it'll probably be two, two, three in the morning for you. If you're still, I'll look if you're online, if you are, I'll definitely join in. Um, a row grader says, uh, by TGV, bon appetito, buonanotte from Rotterdam. Love Rotterdam. I've stayed there. I have a friend in Rotterdam. Incredible. All modern because obviously a lot of it was, uh, destroyed in the wars, but very modern city, incredible city. Um, uh, Arsion says, please do more live chat. I will do. Guys, thank you. The comments have been fantastic. If you're watching this in the future, uh, please do leave comments and questions, and I will try and pick up for the next one. Uh, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I'm gonna leave it. Cheers from Bangkok. Yeah, Kevin. Hello. Hello to Bangkok. Um, yeah, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. I think, I think we did a really cool, um, lots of questions. Um, really enjoyed this. I will, I will try and do this more often. Um, so as always guys, I bid you farewell. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please do not forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you to everybody uh, for for that supports the channel and uh, especially for the, the super chat questions. It's been an absolute pleasure and an honor. Onwards and upwards. And uh, guys, I'll catch you hopefully in the next one. I've um, got a mountain of editing to do, but I, I will get there. So, uh, okay, guys. Ciao. Ciao.